I'm going to make for you chestnut mushroom risotto. Very simple to do and all happening in one pan. So the first thing we're going to do is just light up the pan here. And we're going to add to this just 25 grams of buttery. Now, once that's melted, there are just a few other ingredients I can show you here that we're going to be adding. We have here just one finely chopped onion. We have 450 grams of chestnut mushrooms. You can use button mushrooms as well, just quartered. And I've got here 350 grams of arborio rice, which is the perfect rice to make risottos with. So the first step is just to add the chopped onion to the buttery and just giving it a little stir. And once totally mixed in, it's best to leave this on a sort of low to medium heat, just allowing those onions to slightly soften before adding the mushrooms. So you can see now that the onions have just started to soften with no color at all. Now it's time for the mushrooms. And we're just going to continue this cooking process for just another couple of minutes, again to slightly soften the mushrooms before we add the rice. Now I think you can see just how much these have softened now, so it's time to add the rice. Now just stir this in with the mushrooms and the onion, literally for just a minute before we add the stock. Now this dish is wonderful for vegetarians. I'm using a vegetable stock here. You can use chicken stock, but it's a fabulous vegetarian meal. And the stock I've preheated, which is also very important whenever making a risotto. Right, bring the stock here. You're going to need about a litre of the vegetable stock, which of course you can make just with water, and a good stock cube. Now you'll notice I've just added two ladles to begin. That's just to loosen up the actual rice and then slowly but surely as that stock is absorbed by the rice we continue to add ladle by ladle until the rice is just tender, which can take anything between 15 and 20 minutes. Now I think you can just see now how the rice has absorbed all of that lovely stock and increased in volume. So let's just have a little taste. Mm. Almost perfect. Twist of salt and just one little turn of pepper. There we are. And now we can add just a little touch more of the stock before stirring in another 25 grams of the buttery just to enrich the whole flavour and give it that sort of creamy finish. And as we stir that in, you'll see how that becomes really nice and buttery. To enrich the flavour now of the mushrooms, I'm going to add some grated Parmesan cheese, just some nice freshly grated Really, a couple of tablespoons will be more than enough. Let's stir that in. So, there we have it. Just to enrich it that one extra little bit, this is not essential, but so delicious, as some fresh herbs. Chives, tarragon, parsley, chervil. If you've only got one of those, one of those would be more than enough. So let's stir that in, and that smells as good as it looks. So there we have it, and you can just see now how creamy that looks. And let's have a nice bowlful of this delicious soft risotto. Look at that. So this is it, flora buttery chestnut mushroom risotto. Hope you enjoy it.